Today we're playing more of the amazing renaissance mod on Black Ops 1. This mod takes the zombies mode to a whole other level, adding special zombies, custom weapons, and so much more. This has to be one of the best mods for Black Ops 1 zombies, so without further delay, let's get into the game. Alright, so here we are back on the Renaissance mod. You guys really enjoyed whenever I did the Verrect video not too long ago. So, of course, we got to run the mod back on a different map. And I'm pretty excited to see what kind of changes we see here on Darice. Quite a lot of things changed on Verrect. So, I'm very, very interested to see what kind of stuff we see here. But if you guys do want to see more of this mod, make sure to hit the like button and comment down below which other map I should play next. There is quite a lot of maps that we haven't played with the Renaissance mod, so I'm down to play anything, really. <laughs> but I mainly wanted to play the World at War maps first, since these are pretty basic, I would say, especially compared to the Black Ops 1 maps. I can already see that we do have the challenge board here in the spawn room, though. Of course, we do have to turn the power on to actually activate it, but if you guys don't know, the Renaissance mod has the challenge board. We have to complete four different challenges to essentially beat the map it's pretty awesome so you get to work towards actually doing something not only going through the rounds so if you like that kind of stuff i definitely recommend you guys check this mod out it will be linked down below in the description like always but uh let's start getting some points here so we can start opening the map so yeah we have the carnage here and i think the other one is the same one i think it's the same spawn weapons as always uh yeah it is okay so I wonder if the challenges are going to be the same on this map as they were on the previous map. I kind of hope they are different so we can start working towards different things. But I guess we'll see once we get the power on. Give me insta-kill. Oh, no way. We actually did get insta-kill. <laughs> nice. We got 4k. Let's start moving out. So we have the M1 carbine there. What do we have over here? We have Widow's Wine. Okay. The trench gun, as always. Um... Don't see anything else different in here. Oh, we got a power lever. What? <laughs> 750 for that. Okay, I'll come back to that in a bit. What about here? We got the bouncing Bettys, like always. We got Jug. Okay, anything down here? I'm kind of scared to check in here because the zombies are coming in. <laughs> okay, let's go hit the box. Um, Wait, what? There's a barrier? You must turn power on. <gasps> Is that this? I, I don't know. I'm turning it on. I got to go. There's so many zombies in here and the pistol is very weak. Yeah, it is. And it only lowers half of the bridge. What? And the box isn't even here. What? <laughs> we have dead shot, though. Dude, we are screwed. It costs $750. Wait, hold on. So there's so there's multiple power switches. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, what the heck? <laughs> Dude, we're screwed. I got to get the FG42 then. Yeah. Oh, I don't even have enough for it. Oh, dude, we are screwed. I was so confident that the box was going to be here. So, where the hell is the box, then? Let's check in a second. Let me kill these zombies real quick. Oh, it's over there. It's by the teleporter. Okay, so we'll stay here, then, with the FG-42 for a bit. And then we'll move over to that side. But can we open this door? Yeah, 1250. I'm probably going to buy this soon so I get quicker vibe. Oh, we have Electric Cherry there, too. So I'm assuming that each power lever is probably, like, each section of the map, maybe? So this will actually turn on this section. <laughs> that lever turned on that whole section of the map. And then I'm assuming there's probably going to be one over here. I'm not going to turn that power switch on just yet because I want to get quicker vibe. But I want to see what's over here. Uh, obviously, we do have Electric Cherry. I'm assuming this is going to be off because of that power lever. Yeah, it is off. I'll take the 100 points, though. What's over here, though? Anything anything new in the death tunnel? <laughs> this tunnel just is no good at all. I guess you can't really fit anything else in there, though. It's pretty small. Uh, but yeah, we got the STG on this side. Any perks over here? No, okay. Yeah, the box is going to be there. So, I guess we'll just turn the power lever on then. Screw it. Yeah, so that turns on that. Oh, let's actually link the teleporter. Let's see what we get. Double points. Double points. Or a max semo would be good too, I guess. Oh, we got a death machine. Okay, let's end the round. <laughs> I'll take that for sure too. This time the death machine is actually usable. And you can switch out of it, which is pretty cool. Oh, let me actually check the challenge board real quick. Is it on yet? Oh, okay. So it looks like we're going to have power on on the entire map. So that means there is going to be another power lever. I was kind of right then. Oh, what the hell, a sentry drop. <laughs> so, we learned last time that this is pretty much like the QEDs, where it spawns in a ray gun. I 
think I might die, though, if I pick it up. I'm going to grab it and run. Go, 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 go. Yeah, look at that. Oh, this time we got the Mustang and Sally's, though. I'm pretty sure that would get me killed. Because <laughs> I don't have PhD. Oh, wow. That just demolished the round. So, let's see what's over on this side. Oh, yeah. We have Widow's Wine again. Oh, dogs. Hold on. Let's, let's chill here. Wait, maybe not dogs. Every time the screen shakes, that means nothing good. Oh, no. Oh, wow. This music... Yo, this music is badass. This actually kind of reminds me of like a WWE intro song. <laughs> okay, at least we're going to be getting max ammo though. We do we do need that. So, let's open up this teleporter room. Let's see what's in here. We have PhD. So, if I remember correctly, there is actually a six perk limit. So, we can buy more than just the four perks, which is great. Oh, we got the MP40 there. So we got a lot of perks to choose from on this map now. I don't know if I'll get PhD. I think I will, though. Widow's Wine is also pretty good, so I don't know. I don't know, man. I think I'm going to start off by getting the classic perks. So Jug, uh, Speed Cola, Double Tap. And and then I think we'll start working on the other perks. Because those are really the ones that are going to be the most helpful. We'll see. Electric Cherry could be good, too. Let's see what we'll get here, though. Carpenter. Wow, okay. Thanks, dude. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably like the most useless one. Hey yo, stand back. This FG42 is so good. Let's go get Jug actually before anything crazy happens. Got him. I'm curious, can I stand on this side of the Oh, I can't. It's completely blocked off. I was wondering if I can maybe camp on that side. That'd be so good too. You can actually just fall down <laughs> instead of having to worry about getting stuck. Even though I guess you can kind of do that here anyway, so I'm not really missing out on much. Now that I think about it, it's not, not that good of an idea. Oh, dude, I didn't even notice Stamina Up is here. Just like on Black Ops 3. Let's go. It's funny because I linked the teleport and everything and I didn't even see it at all. <laughs> Let's open up Tommy Gun Room. Let's see what we got in here. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to open up this door. I don't have enough for it just yet. So we do have the M1921. It's no longer the Thompson. Kind of sad. I kind of do like the Thompson. Anything in here? Nah. Oh, teleporting zombie. I heard him. Oh, they're the worst. Oh, but it looks like the power is going to be down here. Okay, good. I thought it was going to be up there somewhere. We're a little bit low on ammo now. I got a throw grenade. <laughs> I did. <laughs> I did nothing. Let's turn the power on. So now the other half of the bridge should be down. Let's go check. Yeah, that's so cool. Oh, we have Vulture Raid nice and yeah we do have double tap 2.0 here as well so we have 750 perfect who's who <laughs> makes a return on duris yeah let me throw a grenade here what's the box come on what are we gonna get what are we gonna get let's see if there's anything cool in here i see the mark ii the normal ray gun zombies freaking caught up to me though what the hell what <laughs> Akimbo STGs? Ain't no way. Ain't no way. <laughs> what the heck? This is so cool. I wonder if there's any other Akimbo weapons. Let's go with the box again. I want to like the teleporter too before the end of the round. I honestly thought that was going to be the last zombie. Dude, what is this? <laughs> oh, the Mauser. Dude, I'm taking that. I'm taking that. Is it a fully auto one? It is. Okay. This thing is so small. It's so funny whenever there's pistols that look insanely small like this. I think it's like the FOV or something. I don't know. I mean, I don't even have that high of FOV, but it looks hilarious. Okay, so I'm just going to keep these weapons. I think these are going to be insane. I'm very curious to see what these are going to become once I pack a punch them. But um, yeah, I think it's time to start just saving up points so we can get perks and actually pack a punch. That's what I'm more curious about. So we'll get here, though. Insta-kill. Okay. Let's wait for the last zombie, though. So... We can now buy the challenge board. It does cost 3500 Not that much. Uh, so we should be able to buy that pretty soon so we can start working on the challenges. It's very worth it working towards those challenges, by the way. You actually get some pretty good rewards. And you do get some extra perk slots, which is pretty cool. Where the hell is the zombie at, though? Hello? By the way, I don't know if this is just me, but it's always more creepy playing these maps when there's no zombies. Is, is that just me, boys? Let me know down below in the comments. Do you guys feel the same way? It's just so eerie and way more 
just creepy. It's worse whenever you gotta look for the zombies, too. I don't know where this dude is at. Oh, he's up there. <laughs> yeah, I gotta hit the box more, though, to see if there's any other akimbo weapons. Imagine if there's, like, a... Dude, akimbo PPSH? Bruh. That would be a dream come true. Oh, teleporting zombie. What the flip, dude? What the flip? You cannot just teleport in front of me. Yo, with double tap, these things are going to be amazing. Imagine holding two STGs at the same time. It's just badass, really. Okay, we have literally enough to buy it. So, let's see. So, obtain six or more perks at once. Spend 30,000 points. Kill 25 explosive dogs without getting hit by the explosion. And then pack a punch three times. Okay. Okay. That doesn't sound too difficult. I think I'm just going to stay here, though. I was kind of considering Tommy Gun Room, but eh, I played Tommy Gun Room pretty much every time I played a Reese. I, I want to play something a little bit different this game. Oh, what was that? Whoa, 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 whoa. What, what is that? <laughs> I think that was a napalm zombie. Oh, dude, we need a Maxima kind of... Kind of soon. What the? Did that, <laughs> did that dog just breathe fire? <laughs> oh, yeah. Those are explosive zombies, it seems like. <laughs> I just blew up some of the zombies near him. What is that? Oh, what? The, I just got a meat. I thought that was a death machine. What is this? Uh, hello? Oh. <clears throat> Wait, what's going on here? What was that? What is that big zombie? Wait. Oh, they're going for the meat. Oh, what? Bro, whoa, 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 whoa. That scared the shit out of me. My heart just sunk. That was like a jump scare. That was like a jump scare. Bro, what is that zombie? I need to go pack a punch. I'm I'm out of ammo. I do still have some Mauser ammo, so we'll use this. Yo. The twin fangs. These are incredibly overpowered. <laughs> Okay, so since we pretty much have the entire map open, and we've played a couple of rounds so we can see some of the special zombies, let's take a look at the mod page to see what actual changes are there so I know what's going on, because I don't even know what the hell those bosses even do or what they are, so <laughs> let's take a look at the mod page real quick together. So here in the Doris section, it says they added the Scrake boss, which is from Killing Floor 2. Yeah, I would have never guessed that. I've never played Killing Floor. It looks like he's immune to the DG2 teleporters and electric traps, also has massive HP and enrages once he's at half health. So I'm guessing that's why <laughs> he like teleported or dashed towards me. Uh, okay. So it looks like we also have the suicide cloaker and amp zombies, as well as the teleporting zombies, which we have already seen. Uh, the engineers spawn in the later rounds. I wonder if the engineer zombie is the one that's um, like a bloater zombie, it seems like almost. He's kind of like bigger, but he's not. I guess as strong as the Scrake one. I did see him. We killed them that same round the Scrake spawned in. It looks like they also added more power-ups that are included with the teleporter rotation, which is pretty cool. Fixed players getting stuck on geometry. It looks like that's just a bug or something. And then it says there is three power switches. So we, we already know that. We already experienced that. So, okay. Pretty interesting. We do have one zombie here. I think I'm going to buy Speed Cola now. These are the perks that I always like to have. Now we have two more perk slots. And, and this is where it gets hard. So I don't know if we should get Stamina Up, Widow's Wine, or Vulturate. Those are the three contenders. But we can only get two. I don't know, man. I don't know. Oh, dogs are starting to spawn in. Oh, no, that's not a dog. That's just an exploding zombie. What is this? Wait. Oh, I wonder if that's the engineer. He did have a hat. <laughs> I don't know if that makes a difference. <laughs> Okay, that... <laughs> this zombie got demolished. He has a wrench. <laughs> Dude stood no chance against my wrath. What is this? What just spawned in? That was the explosive dog. Holy... Get me out of here. Get me out of here. Bro, what? We got to deal with explosive dogs and teleporting dogs. Okay, let's go pack a punch the Mauser. I need another weapon so I don't use my STGs too much. I want to save the ammo. Bro, we just have a dual wield setup. Let's go. We have Sigurd and Hilda. Bruh. <laughs> I did not actually think they were going to become dual wield. That's so sick. 
Okay, so let's see if we can knock out some more of these explosive dogs. How many more do we need? Is it still 19? It's 18 now. Okay. Let's just stay here in this area. We gotta stay far. The double akimbo setup is perfect for this. Oh no! Wow, that was an explosive dog. Oh wait, they they jump over the fence. Maybe this isn't a good idea. Oh god. Never mind, we made it. <laughs> we made it. How many did I get this round? Okay, wow, we knocked out a good amount. So I need to pack a punch one more time to get this challenge done. Uh, we obviously need two more perks. And I think we should be pretty close to that 30k points. 30k sounds like a lot, but it's really not. Let's get Vulture Aid. Now we got one more perk we need to buy. But which one will it be? Mule Kick or Stamina Up? I mean, personally, I'm not that big of a fan of Mule Kick in general. But I feel like for a mod like this where we should use a lot of weapons, Mule Kick is probably up there for a perk that will actually be good. Yeah, this zombie, he looks very threatening. <laughs> but every time he's spawned, we've deleted him. It's kind of hilarious. Oh, a triple-headed dog. I wonder if that's the flamethrower dog. Whoa, a bonfire sale. Can I double pack a punch? I think I remember we could, right? Yeah, we can, so it's a thousand. Oh, we just uh we just completed a reward. Oh, we got the meat though. Bruh, screw it. We're getting mule kick. So this is gonna be our sixth perk. We should get our reward. Yes, I heard the confirmation noise. So this time we get a zombie blood. Zombie blood on Doris is kinda cursed. Let's go with the box now. Let's see what else we get. It'd be cool if I can get three akimbo weapons. Hold on, what just spawned? Hold on, let, let's kill whatever spawned first, and then I'll go to that side. I don't want to get trapped. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Oh my god, I'm getting slapped. Okay, yeah, it was a scrake. Oh no, wait, what? It was the other type of zombie. Oh no, there is the scrake. Oh, did he just die again? Yeah, this Mauser is just too good. <laughs> it obliterates everything. What else did we get? Ballistic knife. Okay. That's not very good. <laughs> Let's see. What is this? I thought it was the Annihilator for a second. Okay, bear. Let's see where the box goes now. Oh, man. It's so creepy. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, no, 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 no. Oh, dude. No, 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 no. Pull out the STGs and just spray and pray. This is way more difficult than Barak. <laughs> like, it's on a whole nother level. I will say it's probably because on Barak I used a crazy overpowered weapon so that's probably why not saying these aren't overpowered but compared to the weapon i was using in that verrucked video these are nothing so let me just confirm yeah there's no more perks i can buy six is really the limit oh we completed something else wait did i wait what did i just complete no way that was thirty thousand points i thought i already got that one mg42 we'll take this we'll take this it might have been the 30,000 points. I thought I already completed that one, though, huh? So, we got that. I think that's a perk slot. I guess we'll find out. Let me see if I can buy stamina up. Because I don't remember. It is a perk limit. Sweet. Okay. Or, not a perk limit. Why do I keep on saying perk limits? What, what, what's going on with me? It's a perk slot. So, now we have just that dog challenge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's try out the MG42 here. One of my favorite weapons on World at War. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Just pure shreddage. Got him. Okay, so we got we got we got hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We got a couple of special zombies here. The Scrake was for sure here. Look at his saw. <laughs> his saw is <laughs> just sticking out. Holy crap. 
What's happening to me? No! Dude, there was too much going on. What the hell is happening? This is so much harder than the Varrocked experience. Uh oh. Samantha, Samantha laughed. No, she's taking my weapons. No. That's BS. That is BS. No, we got Samantha left. That sucks so much. Wait, so what happens when you get Samantha left? The game isn't like dead, is it? Please tell me it isn't. The zombies are not looking at me. Oh, no. Okay, now it is. Okay, I guess they just despawn for a bit. <laughs> it's even worse that we have zero points. <laughs> I wonder what bugged me out, though. Was that Mule Kick? I wonder, because I did have the three weapons whenever I got back up, so maybe that's what caused the Samantha laugh. We are not even close to ending the round, though. I'm pretty sure we have a lot more zombies. As long as no special zombies join in, I think we'll be fine. Let's see. Let's see if I can kill him with the grenades. Yeah, but this is a crazy experience, as you've seen, even with the death machine. We were getting bombarded by everything. I'm so afraid of the next round, though. Oh, God. If I can maybe get, like, at least Quick Revive and Jug for next round, I might be fine. Or maybe not even Quick Revive. Maybe if I can just get Jug. Oof, I don't think so. Dude, next round is going to be so hectic. Let me get Quick Revive, at least. We should have those permanent perk slots, too. We just gotta get back up on our feet. So, I have enough for a box hit. I'm thinking we risk it all. So, I guess I won't get Mule Kick this time. Please, give me, like, something super OP. Give me the Ray Gun. Give me the Ray Gun. Okay, monkeys. Holy, wait, what? <laughs> Look how many monkeys we have. How much is it? Four monkeys? Oh, we only have one extra. It looks like it's a lot more. Alright, man. Wish me luck, fellas. This is gonna get really, really bad. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm scared. I don't even know where to start. Oh, I'm gonna start here. I might just throw a monkey at the beginning of the round. We are we are not gonna be in a good spot. Oh, God. Yeah, I'm throwing a monkey. Throw, throw a monkey, throw a monkey. Oh, but the dogs don't go for the monkey bomb. I forgore about that. Just keep running, just keep running, just keep running, just keep running. Oh, the teleporters. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Just train them up. Just train, just, as long as we don't get a zombie that teleports dead in front of me, we might be fine. We might be fine. Okay, I'm throwing a monkey bomb. Up here, up here. Okay. I just gotta get enough for a, for a better wall weapon. Like, at least an SMG or something. The STG should be good enough. Do I have enough for it? Please be. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, of course, it's, it's not... <laughs> that good without double tap. Uh-oh. No, 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 no! Oh, snap. I forgot it's three hit down, not two hits. All right, so I specifically saved a monkey bomb so we can go get Jug. Okay, throw it now, throw it now, throw it now. I love the monkey bomb change as well. It's got a grenade on its back, which is so cool. Hello there, dude. I'm sweating bullets right now, folks. Just please don't have any teleporting zombies this round. Just... Do me that favor, game. You screwed me over <laughs> already way too much. Just don't give me a teleporting zombie. Zombie blood? Oh, gimme, 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 gimme. I gotta kill this guy. How are you still alive, dude? Bro tanked all of my STG shots. <gasps> Holy moly. Looks like my nightmares have come true. There is definitely teleporting zombies. Okay, there's more teleporting. I'll definitely pack a punch when I have a chance. Right now, I definitely cannot. By the way, I do apologize if I don't talk too much. I am very focused. 
I don't want to lose this game. We're already so close to, like, beating all the challenges on the map. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. <gasps> Are we at the end of the round? Bro, this feels like I'm on around 100, dude. Holy. Thank goodness that is the end. We have 6k to buy whatever we need for the next round. I'm thinking... I'm thinking we got a Pack-a-Punch. Right? So, let's go with the box one time. If I don't get anything good, then I'll just Pack-a-Punch the STG, I think. Widow's Wine is 4k, right? Yeah, 4k. I'm, I'm considering buying that, too. Let's see. I'm, I think we should Pack-a-Punch, though. But just please give me a good weapon. Okay, the Galil. We'll Pack-a-Punch the Galil. I'll take that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's going to be good enough. So, now that we know that this map gets incredibly hectic, I think we get Widow's Wine, PhD, Stamina Up, and Vulturade. How many more dogs do we need? Two! Just two more dogs. Okay, it looks like we might be able to complete it this round. The thing is, I wonder if if it still counts if I do take some damage like that. Did it count? I don't think so. I wonder if it means as long as the dogs don't explode on you, maybe? Nah, I'm pretty sure it's just not taking damage at all. Which is happening very often right now. <laughs> we'll find out. Let's go check the challenge. Let me see. We can tell. Oh, we did! Wow, okay, cool. So yeah, I'm pretty sure there's another perk slot. And we got a free weapon? Dude, wait. It just got rid of... Oh, n are you kidding me? <laughs> are you kidding me? This weapon is insanely overpowered, by the way. This is, this is like, a crazy good weapon. Frankly, it's pretty much a wonder weapon once you pack a punch it. The thing is, though, it got rid of my good weapon. <laughs> Instead of... <sighs> Dude, I didn't know I would get a free weapon from that. I really didn't. That sucks so much. This is like the worst luck possible. <laughs> this game has been so bad. Oh no. It's this dude. It's this dude. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Run. 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 I don't trust that man anymore. Come on. Oh, I can't see. I can't see. Put it in. Put it in. Okay, that dude is still coming. Go, 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 go. Give me the weapon, give me the weapon, give me the weapon, give me the weapon. <laughs> what did I say? What did I say? This thing is too good. Yeah, this is the one weapon that... I honestly didn't want to use. But because our game has been kind of BS... Wow! Dude, this guy is strong. For him to eat that many shotgun shots... Wow. I was kind of far from him, so that's that could be a uh, factor in it. But uh, as I was saying, I really didn't want to use this shotgun because it's so overpowered. But because of the BS that happened, I think it's fair. It's just fair at this point. It's, it's so unfortunate that my whole setup got taken away. My my <laughs> fire camo STGs, man. That's such a cool weapon. I really wanted to keep it. I'll try to get it back out of the box, though. But for now, let's let's just try to get as many points as we can. If it would have just taken all my weapons and not my points, I would be all right with that. But since it did take everything I had, it really sucks. Holy crap, this guy is just a beast. Come closer, come closer. Bam, 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 bam. <laughs> okay, let's get speed cola for sure. Um, I love how the mag is going through Dempsey's arm right now. <laughs> man is one with the weapon okay so now that we completed all the challenges we just have to buy the ending which i believe is fifty thousand points so we just gotta hope that everything goes well this is a tough map dude this is much harder than the varrocked experience way way harder I didn't think it would be possible, really. Nice, max ammo. Oh! If I do just go for the points, it really shouldn't take long for us to get 50k. There's a teleporting zombie in there somewhere. Can't see him. 
Oh, there he is. There he is. Got him. Nice. Oof, nice. Let's go confirm that it is 50k to buy the ending. Just to make sure. Because I don't remember exactly how much it is. I'm going to get stamina up on the way. Let's see. So. Yeah, 50k. Cool, 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 cool. Now, let's get Widow's Wine. Yes, we need Widow's Wine. I'm not going to get Mule Cake this time. I have a feeling Mule Cake is what screwed me over. And you know what? Let's get PhD while I'm here. I actually do have to focus. I'm using my full power. Oh, no. I'm using my full power. I was only using 10%. And now I actually got to try. Oh, I just one-shot him. <laughs> so once we actually buy the ending, that is not everything. Because once we buy it, we then have to wait, I believe, 10 extra rounds on top of that. As, I guess, a extra little challenge. So... We might honestly finish this, like, round 50 or something, depending on how long it takes me to get that 50k. Whoa! Dude, that blasted me away. Bro, what the hell? It's so crazy that you can't damage those fire zombies whenever they're in their flame mode. Whoa, they are so hard to kill. I'm out of Widow's Wine already? Uh oh, uh oh. Oh my, yo. Is he dead? Is that him? Oh no, he's still alive. Oh no, I think that's a different one. Okay, I gotta go this way. So yeah, as you can see... PhD actually doesn't nullify those explosion effects. You still get affected by it. So yeah, we can't even use the trap on these guys, by the way. Because remember, they don't take that much damage from those... Wow, you seen that spin attack? That was nutty. Yeah, so the trap doesn't work against them, essentially. Dude, I haven't been able to just put down the shotgun! I'm going to run out of ammo if I'm not careful with it. I'm trying to use the STG as much as I can to get points, but... I have to keep pulling out my shotgun <laughs> to kill the extra zombies. Oh, thank you. Thank you, game. Thank you, game. We got our babies back. Yeah, now we're completely set. I'll be able to use the STGs uh, to get some points. And they're actually pretty good so I can defend myself with them. And hopefully we don't have to use our shotgun too much anymore. So I can save that precious ammo. Oh, perfect dog round. And we're almost at that 50k. <laughs> I haven't even been paying attention to that. I've just been trying to survive. It's pretty cool though. there's so many types of dogs, though. It's not just the zombies. That's one thing that's definitely new. On Varok, there was dogs, but there wasn't different types of dogs like this. So it's pretty cool though. there is different breeds of doggos. As soon as I get that 50k, I'm going to immediately buy the board because... Again, we'd have to spend 10 extra rounds on top of that, so... I want to guarantee that we can at least make it to the end. Oh, God. Okay, I'm throwing a monkey bomb because i seen that big guy. I think it distracts the big guy, too, right? Oh, no, it doesn't. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't know why for a second I thought that was a panzer. <laughs> My heart sunk. Oh, no, 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 no. Not, not again, not again, not again, not again, not again. Yeah, go away for a second. Oh, we got the 50k now. So, let's see. 50k, beat the game. Survive to round 45. Yeah, 10 rounds. Good thing is, we are going to be getting dog rounds, so that should help us speed things up a little bit at least. Now is the real battle. The 50k and the challenges were nothing compared to this, especially because now we're on a much higher round. So, well, it's not really that high. I mean, 30s, 40s, you know, I guess we'll see because these special zombies have no chill. I'm still shocked 
I managed to get my way back up to where we're at right now. I genuinely thought I was going to die that round that we uh, got BS Samantha laughed over. I seriously cannot believe we're, we're here right now. And I'm more grateful that I got my STGs back. I love this weapon. This might be my favorite weapon in this mod. Then again, I haven't played all the maps with this mod, so I wonder if there's going to be any other custom weapons. Wow, they split up in the most strategic way where I couldn't even go <laughs> one direction or the other. I had to go back to where I always go. Damn, even with this weapon that I thought would be super good for this because of how strong it is, it's, it's still crazy difficult managing these zombies, man. This area, to be fair, is very dangerous, so... Oh, whoa, whoa. That, that's the worst possible thing that could have happened. I might have to get rid of a weapon. I might. Ah, oh, no. I really didn't want to get rid of my STGs. But I think I might have to. I have no ammo left in them. I mean, let's see. Let's the box. If I get something worth it, I think I might. I've used them a good amount, and I do like this weapon. I just need something else because my shotgun's running out of ammo. I wouldn't mind the Mark II or just the Ray Gun would be good too. Oh, Ray Gun. Nice, I'll take that. Yes. I know I was talking about how I really like the STGs and everything, but it's hard. They run out of ammo so fast. All right, Ray Gun. I wonder if it'll help to have this trap on. I'm just going to turn it on. Why not? I'm still going to stay in this area, but I'm going to keep that trap on to see if that helps out. Because they do spawn all the way down there still. So it should, in theory, work out fine. And yeah, it's killing a lot. Maybe should have thought of that earlier. The only reason I didn't want to use traps was because I was saving money for that 50k to actually buy the challenge board. So I didn't want to use precious monies that I needed. The ray gun with this mod may or may not be extremely good. I don't remember the last one we got dog round. Okay, 38. Good. We got to keep that in mind. Smell hound. I haven't heard that quote at all. <laughs> That's a good one. What the floating dog? That dog is creepy. And it's amplified by 10 because he's floating. <laughs> I'm curious to see how good the ray gun's going to be against the, uh, what's his name, Scraker? Because the shotgun, I would I would have thought that the shotgun would two-shot him, if I'm being honest. Uh, but if that doesn't even do as much damage as I expected it to do, I imagine maybe the ray gun would hopefully be good enough. I, the Mark II would probably demolish it. I mean, as we've seen, actually, the Mausers were very, very good against that dude, so... You know, maybe wonder weapons are the way. Is it the way? Not really. Oh, I missed a lot, though. That's my fault. My dookie aim. Okay, there it goes. <laughs> I love how he just flies away in ragdolls. Bonfire sale. Can't really use that. In an optimal situation, if I can get a max ammo during a zombie round before the dog round, I think we should be able to make it without having to do some weird way to end the round. I want to say I'm probably going to have to use the trap a lot because of how little ammo I think I'll have. We only have five rounds left. This is this is awesome. I love the challenge, but it's it's a crazy one. Let me try to horde kill. Let's see if that will be a option. The thing is, the teleporting zombies will sometimes block you. And if that happens, you're just going to get destroyed by the entire horde. The funny thing is that one shot takes out an entire horde of zombies. <laughs> if that doesn't scream overpowered, Maximo, no! If that doesn't scream overpowered, <laughs> I don't know what is. Bam. Three more rounds, man. Three more rounds. We're almost there. I can almost feel a max ammo in this round. 
Yeah, that is so overpowered. I guess I never realized that it would do that to a horde because on Verrucked, whenever we use this ray gun, uh, you know, on Verrucked, you can't really train or you can't really horde kill, I guess. You know, you kind of can in certain situations, but most of the time you're just running. So I didn't know that it would actually kill this many zombies with one shot. We did find out that the splash damage was super good. It's just not... I didn't know it was on this level. <laughs> Nero, Nero. Oh, it's a BO3 Bowie knife. And here's the dog round. This is good. This is good. I actually managed to <laughs> get to the next dog round without getting a single max ammo. We have more than enough ammo to get through this. We've got the monkey bombs. So I feel like I'm going to die. I'm almost positive the big guys are going to be spawning this time around. I haven't seen him in a couple of rounds, and I have a feeling they're going to punish me right now. Oh, the big guys are here. Big guys are here. Okay, let me throw a monkey bomb again to distract. Okay. Oh, oh, he's dead. He's dead. He's dead. Not that one. There's one alive. 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 There's one. There's one alive. There's one alive. There's one alive. There's one alive. Oh no, there's still two. No. This is really bad. Come on, die, die, die. Yes, yes. Ooh. Ooh. This is the most intense game I've played in a very long time. Wow, we finally see a Maxima drop. I, ne I really never thought I'd see the day. I'm just going to spam as much as I can. Oh, is that in a round? Let's go. Ain't no way. <laughs> Sorry, I just hit my mic. Ain't no way we got a max ammo at the end of the entire game. I literally cannot believe that. We spent the entire, like, what, like 15 or 20 rounds trying to get a max ammo, and we couldn't get one until the end of the game. Are you kidding me? I mean, shout out to the dog rounds, because they helped me a lot. <laughs> there were so many points in that game that I thought I would genuinely just lose. I cannot believe I actually managed to do this. This is so difficult compared to Verrucked. It gets so difficult, especially, I guess it depends what setup you're running. Maybe I wasn't running an optimal setup, but I don't know, that ray gun and that shotgun are very strong. It's just, you can't normally play. Like, those teleporting zombies screw you over so much, the dogs. It's fun. <laughs> it's fun. I'm just so glad I was able to do this. So if you guys do want to see more of this mod, again, make sure to hit the like button. Subscribe if you guys are new. And uh, comment down below which other map I should play next. I don't know if anything can top this map, though. I think this might be the most difficult one. Prove me wrong, though. If you guys have played the Renaissance mod, let me know which map I should play next, man. So, yeah. I'll catch you guys later, folks. Have a good one. Peace out, man. I do want to give a special thanks to the YouTube members, the Twitch subscribers, and the Discord boosters. You guys support the channel a ton, so I appreciate you guys a lot. Shout out to the Scrub Lords, Red, Ash, Nut King Called, FN40, Muscle, Creek, Joff underscore EasyBots, the Zombie Guru, the Big J6, LST Hang, Knuckles Vivo, Lightmeister89, Kava808 underscore YT, Uncle Nikolai, Nut King Called, and Jake Snusbuster once more. Appreciate you guys so much. If you guys want a special shout out as well at the end of each video, definitely check the description. There'll be some links down there if you guys want to become a YouTube member, a Twitch subscriber, or even a Discord booster if you like using Discord. So yeah, I appreciate you guys so much for the support. Thank you guys.